Hi, this is Tom Jackson from the Sandusky Register. I'm holding Dory, and next to me is Amy Weber, the shelter manager, and she is holding Violet. So what is the story with uh, these two kitty cats? Well, Dory came in with her two brothers and a sister. She has her sister Nala has gone home, her brother Bruce has gone home, or her brother Bruce has gone home, but Bruce is still here and so is Nala. They are tabby. They're about 10 to 12 weeks old. They've had some shots done. They're ready to go. Uh, very excited little kittens. They are not yet old enough to be spayed or neutered, so they do come with a certificate. I have Violet. Now, Violet has been here for a little while. She's about a year old. Uh, she's up to date on all her shots. She is spayed, ready to walk out the door today. Um, if you are interested in a black cat, now's the time. We stop for the month of October, so we'll start back up November 1st. And you have some other news. Tell I us about do. the Walk for the Animals. Sunday or, well, Sunday afternoon, 1 o'clock, registration's at noon. We're going to have a Walk for the Animals, a one-mile walk starting at Shoreline Park. So come on out and see us. Um, if you have sponsors, we need your form in by the end of this week. If not, it's $10 the day of the race. Now, uh, Amy, uh, we've noticed we have a mouse in the newsroom. It ran across the desk of the reporter who's next to me, and I've been racking my brain. What can people do if they have a mouse running around in their house? Or? They make blue traps, um, or they make other humane traps that trap them live, and you can release them if you have somewhere to release them, you know, far enough away that they're not coming right back in, because that's not really a very fun game to play. It wasn't Melissa's desk. Before. No, no, it's I another. I could see her getting very animated uh, over it. <laughs> but do cats cope with that? Can, can a cat cope with a... Um, Cats mouse. can cope with visiting mice. Um, some like to chase mice, some like to do more than chase them. Um, some will bring them to you as presents. It's probably better if they don't eat them because of the little bones and stuff in their digestion. We wouldn't want them to get hurt, but some of them find them to be really enjoyable toys. Alrighty. Okay, well thank you. Well thank you.